Hello everyone, welcome back. You're watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to show a user form in full screen mode, regardless of a small width and height set at the time of development. So in our previous tutorial, we learned how to run a user form without showing Excel workbook window. We will continue using the same workbook and add uh, this particular feature. If you have not watched our previous tutorial like how to run a user form without showing excel workbook window then you can find the link in description box and you can also find the link in the i button available on the top right corner over here. So let me show the demo first and understand the requirement here. So here you can see that uh, this is the inventory management system which I developed and have saved in the trusted uh, application folder. And in our previous tutorial, we set this trusted application folder under trusted location under macro security. So whenever we will run any of the macro file from this location, this folder, Excel is not going to prompt any notification or Excel is not going to ask uh, to enable the macro. It will directly run the macro. Okay. So let me uh, let me run this file. Let's double click on that. So here you can see that uh, this window is smaller in size and does not cover the entire screen. While designing the user form in Excel, sometimes we keep width and height not as per the screen size. Yeah, we usually design the form so that it can appear on top of uh, Excel workbook window and does not cover the entire full uh, screen. So and the same scenario uh, with this user form. So as uh, we are not showing the Excel window uh, behind, you know, uh, this user form. So there is no need to keep this user form in a small size. Yeah. So if we will make it full screen, then all the controls have more space and it will increase the user experience. Okay. So to solve the problem, uh, let's uh, write some visual basic application code so that whenever we will run the user form it will always show in full screen mode okay regardless of any height and width uh, we have set at the time of designing and development so let's quickly jump to the visual basic application so first of all let's close this form and once you'll close this form the excel inventory management system will start like you know the Excel window will start showing on a screen. So now we need to jump to the visual basic application code window. So to do that, I just click on developer tab here and then under code group, just click on visual basic or alternatively, you can also press alt plus F11 as a shortcut key. So let's click on visual basic. And once you click on Visual Basic, uh, you can see that like, you know, Microsoft Visual Basic for application window has started appearing on top of this Excel, uh, yeah, Excel window. So first of all, let's uh, unprotect this uh, project. So the password is the data labs. Okay. Now we uh, need to write the code on user form initialize event so that whenever a uh, form will initially load it to RAM, then it will get uh, a zoom in at the same percentage of Excel application. So suppose Excel application is uh, running in maximize mode, then uh, the procedure which we are going to write that will also uh, uh, maximize or you can see that zoom in the form at the same level, like same height, width and you know, left and top. So let's uh, expand this form here. And double click on FRM inventory. And here on this form, we need to write the course and the event is initialized. So let's double click on that. And if you look at this, currently we have one procedure that is on sub query. Uh, sorry, uh, user form query close. Now we need to insert one more uh, sub procedure that is the initialize event. So let's uh, keeping the user form selected from first drop down. From second drop down, we just need to uh, uh, select the initialize. So let's select this, this one. And once you select the initialize, you can see that a blank sub procedure has started reflecting 
for user form initialize event. Now we need to write all those codes in between private and end sub. So let's create some room here and then let's start writing the code. So uh, first of all what we'll do, uh, we will maximize the Excel application uh, window. So let's do that application the application is excel application here and we are going to change the window state the window state mode should always be excel maximized yeah because we are going to run the user form in full screen mode that's why we are going to keep this excel maximized here press tab and then press enter now the next line of code would be uh, to set the zoom in percentage for frm inventory so let's uh, start writing the code fr inventory dot and then the properties would be zoom and then here we need to pass integer so that is int but that would be the in, uh, dynamic so what we are going to do we are going to zoom in on uh, at the same level like say suppose it's a uh, currently the frm inventory uh, taking 60 percent so we will find the ratio of this application the excel application and inventory and we will zoom in at the same proportion basically okay so let's uh, identify the width application dot width so application width is the excel application width and then we are going to divide with uh, form width frm in inventory dot width and then we will multiply it with hundreds and then close the bracket so uh, the next line of code is we are going to uh, set the startup position of this form so as we are going to assign or take uh, the left top width and height of this excel application so the startup position would always be manual so let's frm inventory dot startup position that would be zero it means we are we are taking the control here and we will set all the properties manually yeah so again let's copy this frm inventory and then we need to set this uh, the left so what would be the left so the left would be application here application dot left so for this frm inventory the left would be the excel application left let's copy this line of code and then we need to set this the top here so top top and again this one top now we need to set this uh, the width and height so let's copy this and frm inventory dot width that would be equal to application dot width yeah let's copy this line of statement and replicate this for height so this is height let's copy this height and replace the width with height so okay we are done with all the line of codes so let's understand this code again so this code like you know the, the, the first line of code what we'll do it will maximize the workbook window and then uh, we are going to zoom in uh, the frm inventory with the same proportion of you know application width and this frm width yeah and then we are what we are doing we are taking the control it means you know we are going to set up the startup position like where what would be the left top width and heights okay that's why we are making it manual and then we are taking you know assigning the frm inventory left that would be the application left so what would be the application like excel application where width uh, left basically that will be the left of frm inventory again the same applicable for top width and height okay so uh, now we are done with uh, the vba code required to run the user form in full screen mode so let's go to the debug here and click on compile so if there would be any you know error it will highlight so you can see that we don't have any error let's save this 
and jump to the excel file now let's close this file so that we can run it come to the folder that is the uh, trusted application let's double click on that so now you can see that the same user form has started running in full screen mode regardless of different width and height set at the time of development so this is all about uh, how to show a user form in full screen mode hope you find this tutorial useful please like share and comment also if you have not subscribed our youtube channel then please subscribe it also hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification of our upcoming tutorial on excel visual basic application and power bi dashboard thanks for watching have a great day bye bye